Um, so in today's session, I'm going to discuss the games industry, the Israeli games industry. But before I start, uh, let's start with a bit of an overview about uh, Platica. So Platica was founded in 2010 and is currently the largest social casino company in the world. We have five different games, uh, which you can find on 13 different platforms. So iOS, Google Play, Amazon, Windows Phone, you name it. Uh, we're quite large these days. So the company has over 1,000 employees uh, spread in our 12 global offices. So from Santa Monica to Montreal, Argentina, uh, we have an office in Tokyo, Japan, and the HQ, which sits uh, here in Israel. Okay, so let me share some of our 2014 numbers with you. Uh, in 2014, the companies generated 500 and almost 50 million dollars. Uh, we have 5.7 million uh, daily active users, 18.5 million monthly active users. Also, we have one of the largest DARPU daily average revenue per user in the games industry, 27 cents. And Platica these days is by definition a uh, mobile first company, uh, which means that 53% of our revenues come from mobile. Okay, so to put things into a context, let's start reviewing the global games market before we drill down to Israel. So in the games market in general, and when I mean game, when I say games, I mean really every kind of game. So PC games, MMOs, mobile games, consoles, etc. This market globally have generated in 2014 83.6 billion dollars and is expected to generate by 2018 113 billion dollars. Also, you can see on this chart that the majority of growth in the next years will come from mobile, as we already know. Okay, so let's put Israel uh, on the world map. In the past, we used to look at the world as one unit. But today, as the demand for local games to local market is increasing, it has become really useful to break down the world into continents, regions, countries, this leads to much stronger insights about trends and realities. So Israel operates from the EMEA market, a market that its players are, genera is, are generating uh, $5.6 billion to mobile game developers in 2015. Also, I want to mention that many companies in general in the world, and specifically in Israel, have decided to put a strategy into offering local games to local market. One company that does that, the Israeli company, is called GameSmart. They offer bingo products, local bingo products, to the Latin American market. That even though this market may be the smallest currently, you can see that its year-to-year -year growth is the most substantial. So we all wish luck uh, to GameSmart. Moving on to the Israeli games industry. So, here are some facts about our industry. In Israel, we have over 150 mobile game developers, independent and companies. Most of them operate from Tel Aviv, and most of them develop their game on Unity 3D. Also, uh, the top grossing genres in games from Israeli companies are hardcore strategy games, social casino games, and kids games. Okay, so I'm sure you all wonder what is the size of the Israeli games market. In 2014, our market has generated $800 million. And according to a calculation based on the first half of 2015, by the end of this year, it will cross the $1 billion of revenues. If we look at 2016, it will generate around $1.4 billion. Also, please note that those revenues only include revenues coming from iOS, Google Play, and Facebook, and does not include revenues from ads or from dot-com sites. So in your heads, feel free to increase those numbers. So several Israeli companies have managed to establish their position as market leaders, each one in its own niche. 
The first company is Platica, as I mentioned before. So Platica is leading the social casino market, which means that we hold 22% of a market that in 2014 was worth almost $3 billion. The second market leader coming from Israel is a company called Plarium. So Plarium develop and publish hardcore strategy games. If you're a hardcore player, you may have known their game uh, Sparta, War of Empires, or Total Domination. Plarium has 130 million registered users and is ranked um, around, uh, in, sorry, and is ranked as Facebook's top uh, hardcore developer consistently. The third company is Tabtail. Tabtail actually started when the founders were looking for some quality uh, kids content. The first app was kids ebook app, and now they develop uh, kids, uh, kids games. If you have kids, they're probably playing their most successful app, My Emma. So I'm sure you all know it. And then there are some many Israeli game companies uh, that you should know. So I won't mention everyone, but just a few. So the first one is a company called D-Media. D-Media is actually a lean team of only 26 people that developed a series of games called Trial Extreme. The company has 160 million registered users, and what's interesting is that it's completely privately owned. They don't have any external uh, investors. The second company I'll mention is Jelly Button Games. Jelly Button uh, actually started as a small studio that was uh, doing outsource work, art, artwork and product work for other developers. And then came their big break with the game Pirate King, which I've, I'm sure you all know. Um, and then there's another company called Phantomic. It's a pretty mature company, which actually started uh, as a game platform now called Kizi, and maybe you know their game Chicken Boy, but the point is that there are many Israeli game developers that you should uh, put your eye on. Okay, so with 600 million worth of M&As, and with new social casino companies popping out every day, it's not a wonder why people have crowned Israel to be the social casino capital of the world. For many years now, um, the most successful real money gambling companies come from Israel. So 888 and Playtech. And then the ex expertise in content that come from these companies, these days is being translated into social casino companies, which although excludes the gambling element, do enjoy those employees' expertise in content. And let's mention just several M&As. Uh, I took the liberty of adding two companies that are not necessarily established in Israel, but do have Israel, uh, Israeli founders. But one recent M&A was in August, a company called Stride Gaming, which is a bingo operator from the UK, have acquired an Israeli company called Infiaps, with their game slot Bonanza for almost $40 million. So you can see that M&A is in the Israeli market is still alive. There are many companies to acquire, so put an eye on it. And then I'm sure you all wonder what makes Israel such a games hub. What is our secret sauce? So the first ingredient in this sauce is technology. Most of the time, our military service includes service in technological units and training in many cases. Also, some of the most prestigious academic institutes uh, for technology are located in Israel. So, the quality of technological employees is really high in Israel, which makes it a lot easier for us uh, to find good employees. Here are some... Uh, examples of innovative technology startups. You can also see that a lot of companies choose to open their R&D centers in Israel, Intel, for example. And the second ingredient is the access to capital. 
So in Israel, there are 70 venture capital funds, of which 14 are international VCs with Israeli offices. So if you choose to open a game company, it makes it a lot easier to raise funds when it's done locally. The third ingredient is the representation for all big platforms. So it's really rare when you see a country in the size of Israel and you find representation for all the big platforms. So Google is here, Facebook is here, Microsoft, etc. So it makes it a lot easier to manage your platform relation when you have a local partner to talk to. And the fourth ingredient is actually the top-notch service suppliers that you can find in Israel. So CRM, analytics, ad techs. We are lucky enough to find the best service suppliers coming from Israel, each one leading his global niche. So again, lucky us. But then there is another ingredient that can't be put in a slide, kind of a secret spice. So Israel in general uh, is called the startup nation. And we do have some kind of entrepreneurial spirit. When people come from outside of Israel, they're always surprised that even in a taxi ride, they can talk to the taxi driver about the latest exits, and he knows all the specifics and details of the recent deals. Um, so I guess eventually, this is the main secret spice that makes us the startup nation and a competitor for the Silicon Valley. So, uh, a quick recap. We've mentioned how much the global games market is worth, and we've seen that by 2016, it will generate $113 billion. We've also mentioned that by 2015, the Israeli games market will cross the $1 billion, and even more, as I mentioned. We've seen that uh, Platica, Plarium, and Tabtail are Israeli companies whose leading specific markets in the world, and that Israel is the social casino capital of the world. We've explained why. And then we try to discover what's the secret recipe for Israel being such a great games hub. Um, thank you very much for your time, everyone.